Thank you, Ben. I've got good news tonight for carnivores. Tyson Foods says it is cutting prices on many of its meat products. The catch is it's only for a few days. Uh, from now until Saturday, in fact, the company says it will discount its meats by 20 to 30 percent, including chuck and round roasts, as well as some ground beef products. The discount comes as reports show prices at grocery stores across the U.S. are actually rising. The cost of groceries overall increased by more than two and a half percent last month. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says that was the biggest single month to month increase since 1974. All right, gasoline prices rising ever so slightly here in Connecticut. The average price for a gallon of regular unleaded is $1.93 now, and that is up one penny from yesterday. Today, the national average for a gallon of gas stands at one eighty-six. That's up uh, five cents from a week ago, but to keep things in perspective, it is uh, down more than a dollar since this time last year. All right, and a note for those who uh, like to fly here, there are a lot of bargain airfares out there, but they are not expected to last for long. One International Airline Association says if middle seats have to be left empty on airplanes, uh, they will have to, airlines will have to raise fares more than 50% just to break even. All right, it's the backbone of the U.S. economy, but the Federal Reserve Bank of New York's quarterly household spending survey shows people across the income spectrum reeled back their spending in the past several months. A quarter of those who responded said their spending was reduced by as much as 5% compared with a year ago. The decline in spending growth was the steepest for high-income earners, making more than $100,000 per year. Now, spending cuts on vacations and trips were by far the largest. Only 12.5% of survey participants reported any such spending at all over the past four months. And that is the lowest point on record. As always, if you have a consumer issue, a scammer warning, email me at brent at fox61.com. Ben, back to you.